Hi everyone, I know it's been a while since you've heard from me. A lot's been going on in my life. But, I just got on Facebook and saw the awesome news of um, Ammon and Ryan and Cliven being released today. And uh, Kelly and John have both promised that John's going to be going live soon so that we can hear the whole story. Because I am excited. I have literally been watching John's page for the last half an hour waiting for this live feed. But I wanted to let all of you know so that you could spread the word so we're all there when we hear the news. Um, so I don't know all the details. It's driving me crazy. But... Um, miracles are happening, you know? How many of us have been praying for the last two years that these men would be able to go home to their families? Um, so, I'm, I'm pretty excited for them. Um, I'm excited for those little ones to have their daddies home for Christmas. I know it's going to be a Christmas to remember at their house. Um... So please let everyone know that John's going live soon so he can hear the details. I know that the fight's not over, that this is just one of the battles that we've won. The war still rages on. Um, I know that they're going to need, like Ammon's defense team's going to need more help uh, financially, so if we can help out there, um, that would be great. Um, December is starting, you guys. Christmas is here soon. Um, Christmas is definitely a bittersweet thing. Hey, you want? Yeah. Okay, go, go finish your bath. Sorry. I'm bathing the kids real quick. Alright, go to, go get in the bath now. Um, but I think that in this month of December, we need to really make a point to show God some appreciation for some answered prayers because this is really this really is a big deal I mean how many people get locked up and then we never hear from them again because the government has millions of millions of millions of dollars of resources on hands and the media in their pocket to keep things quiet while we rely on our own to what our own two hands can provide and then the grace of our neighbor and thankfully God, because this wouldn't Mommy. happen without God. Mommy. So I know there's this thing happening. Mommy. It's like, Mommy. what? Samuel. Samuel, please be nice and please be tough, Maisie. Sorry. Gotta love being a mom. It's the best. Oh, it's been a day. Um. Anyway, so in the month of December, there was this thing that's starting that's like, Lighting the world 25 times in 25 days, where each day you try to serve and lift up someone else. Um, and I think that'd be a really great way to show God some appreciation for the miracle he has shown with everything that's been happening with these trials. I think it's really awesome that they're going to go home for Christmas with their families. Um, I can't wait till we win these trials and they're home for good. But I mean, what incredible examples of God's, you know, warriors they are to me. I mean, how many of us have the morals and the convictions and the courage to stand on principle that way that, you know... For two years, you're stripped of your rights, harassed, degraded, and yet you still, you still stand. I wish my dad was here to celebrate too. Um, he would be, he would be in awe of God's grace right now. Um, so, like, miracles have been happening, you guys. I mean, my mom 
finally got through all the BLM crap that, you know, in the last two weeks she was able to put our cows back up on my dad's ranch, which was awesome. And then, you know, Ryan was put into a halfway house. Now he's home, and now we have Ammon and Cliven and Ryan being released. I mean, if that doesn't prove to you that there is a God and he is a God of miracles, I don't know what does. Um, I don't, I just take, take this next month of December to show God gratitude, to rededicate your life to him. And I know, believe me, coming from someone who needs to take this advice, like, the reason I feel like my dad was such a great man is because he consistently did the small things. And when push came to shove, when something big happened, he was already, he already had the backbone to follow through. He already had the faith in God to follow through. And we might not be able to do the big things today, but if we will start dedicating ourselves to small things consistently, big things will happen. It will happen. Sorry, I'm a, I've been an emotional day for me. Um, but I am really, that was, I needed to hear that today. So, let's, let's all make sure we know what's happening. Okay, y'all watch for John Lamb's video. I am. I mean, we all share it with our friends. Tell our friends. Let's all get on our knees and thank God that his timing finally came around. They're being released. Um, and I would also encourage you guys to not get... It's a lot easier to fight when you've got huge atrocities going on like people sitting in prison it's a lot easier to get apathetic when there isn't i guess that urgent need in your face but make sure that we're not getting lazy with our fight for freedom because we don't want this to happen again and we want these trials to be won not just not just like the little battles we want the you know the big one to be won um Sorry. It's a really... It's really emotional. It makes me miss my dad a lot. But it makes me so happy. But... The miracles are happening. Ugh. Christmas is a hard time of the year, yeah? I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, you guys. Okay, well, I am going to get off because it's getting super emotional over here. Goodness gracious. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. He wants to say hi, too. Okay, just remember, matters how you stand, but it also matters how to whom you kneel to so let's all let's all kneel before God and thank him for this because it really truly is only by the grace of God that we have this victory and the only reason we've had the victories that we've had and the only reason that we'll have the victories that we will have All right, you guys all have a blessed day. I'm excited to watch with all of you the live feed from John Lamb, which will hopefully be soon. John, if you are there, please let me know. I must know this update. I have been stalking you for the last 45 minutes now, wondering when we're going to hear this update. So let's all wait for that and like, make sure we share it and make sure we thank God. This is really, truly is amazing. Okay, I love you guys. I'm grateful for our Savior, and I'm grateful for God. 
I'm grateful for courageous men who stand on principle, who are such wonderful examples. Like I have such incredible modern day examples to strive to be. So, love you guys. God is good all the time. And I don't know how to finish this anymore. It's been that long. There it is. God is not.